Oh, undead. Not as not as friendly as Norse. But um two journeymans. He's not a level twenty coach, so he could be a beginner. He's Russian, probably. <laughs> two skeletons, that's good. Can target them. Two ghouls to target. And uh yeah, just hopefully the mummies don't bang on us. He's down 110 TV already after one game. <laughs> well, you know, he's still got he's still got strength five mummies, hasn't he? I mean, mummies are like just beast players. It almost doesn't matter how good the uh, undead coach is a lot of the times. I mean, obviously, hopefully, I can hit his hit his mummies, knock his mummies down with black orcs, or. Uh, Oh, stuff like that. Got a bribe. He's only got 11 players, so I guess this does let him foul. Maybe it would be more prudent to get a reserve or two, but there you go. <laughs> You'll learn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if there's a way to lose, I'll find it. Or receive and take the draw. I could possibly beat him up by receiving as well. Yeah, okay. What I find is, you know, when I say that, take the draw, obviously. If you receive, like, if you kick, I think you've got more chance of winning the game. Because you've got 11 players on defence to turn him over and go up 1-0 at half-time and then win 2-0. But I think if you receive, you've got more chance of drawing because, you know, chances are you'll grind him out, score 1-0, and then he'll grind you out, and then it's 1-1. But, if, you know, if you, if you want to play a risky and go for the win, I think probably kicking's better. But I think against Undead with Mighty Blow... If I kick, I could be starting the second half with like nine players. And then, uh, you know, might not even get my touchdown. So. <laughs> oh, pals look a bit different than Jimmy's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the classic gym pals. hit anybody I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come back here. Be protected. But then what if it's a both down? Don't want to get both down, do you? Who's on three? I don't like Alice. I guess it's worth going for the uh, for the mighty blow hit on him.
Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes there, he goes there. It is obviously pretty risky because if it's a <laughs> if it's a board town getting banged on by a mummy. Well it wasn't. Well, that's him safe. Holy shit. Lucky bastard. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. Actually lucky for once. Two, three, four, five. I don't want to get hit. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good turn one that. Happy with that. So he was looking team retirement incoming, yeah. Oh man. Careful now. Hmm. So that's some blocks. <laughs> block, 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 and then all these guys. So then could two dice him with mighty blow, and then uh, assist over there. So he wants to hit first. Blitz him there. I moved him in here already though. 
Alright, I just gotta just gotta roll the seventy five percent and then fuck it, let's go. Let's just get down this side a bit. If he doubles down, it's horrific. So I've got to put this guy in, haven't I? Maybe I went a bit too far forward there. You can probably get two dice on the ball here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not even hard. You will get two dice on the ball. There's not much I can do about it now. Bit of a fuck up. I guess at least he hasn't got a recovery. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Got to push him there so it can push him. Hit too hasty and move forward there. Should have thought about it a bit. I was because I was going to move him here, you know, to shut it down. But I just should have thought and just moved him to here or something. Pretty bad play. Just quietly. We're all in infinite powers here. Crazy. But yeah, the good thing is he doesn't have a recovery. So even if he does run round. With both goals. I bet the mighty ball one and get it back straight back. Yeah, block, 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 block. <laughs> I knew I knew I knew he'd pick up on that, that's why I said it. I thought it'd be funny to say block 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 block. God, I've got a fucking, I've got a sexy commander deck here. If you play Magic the Gathering, there's a Moldrifter in it. Believe it or not, um, unbelievably, and uh, God, it's so fucking sexy this deck. I don't know whether to keep, keep a uh, commander deck or just sell, sell all my Magic cards. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which is the play. The commander is Child of Alara. Because <laughs> I've got two commander decks. One is. Um, glorious. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Cobblats. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. And welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, the... The... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a Child of the Lara deck, right? Nothing special because... There's basically... There's two ways to play Commander, isn't there? There's... There's the somebody tries to win kind of way of playing it. <laughs> and, you know, there's the, there's the trying to win playing Commander. And then there's a... There's the... Um, there's the everyone has a good time and the game lasts forever way of playing. And the Child of Alara is for the everyone plays forever and has a good time kind of deck um, there you go you got the card <laughs> yeah yeah you restyled yeah <laughs> see come on us <laughs> well done you can just pretend yeah that's the thing he doesn't have the recovery does he so although it was dumb of me to allow that um, it's not even that bad, is it? Really? 
Not that bad. Um, I guess this guy just has to stand up here first. This lad can two dice this lad. Oh, brilliant. That's just what I needed this turn. Oh, see, so what I did was I went, oh, well, he hasn't got a, re he hasn't got a fucking counterplay to it. Now, you could have argued that I could have blitzed the ghoul first, but, because I had this other guy. But, wow, that's fucking unlucky, isn't it? He had no recovery, but I'll just skip my next turn with a 1 in 81. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Yeah, I thought it's not that bad because I'll get to eat his ghouls. But nah, nah, I won't get to eat his ghouls. Maybe I should just hit one of the ghouls first with block. But I really wanted to hit, you know, I really wanted to just block this one with him and then blitz the other one if I powered him. So I did want to hit one without first. Maybe one of these should have gone in just to be make it safer, I guess, maybe, before going for the pickle later. Mm. <laughs> Getting stunned as well by a fucking mummy. Um. Nah, I see. I see, Cobblehead. Oh, thank you very much. Um. <laughs> block with block, yeah, yeah. I, but that, you know, I didn't know who I wanted to block with. I just wanted to free up. Well, I wanted to free up that that orc blitzer was what I wanted to do, but I already had one behind him, so I should have just blitzed with him first. Or block with him. Then I couldn't re-roll that, so I wanted to block with him and then just get people in the way first. But now I guess this could be a... I mean, at least up men anyway, got lucky getting up men. So, um... Hopefully things will go alright. Yeah, so like, so there's, yeah, there's sort of essentially, well, he didn't serve him, that's something at least. And still bang on his, uh, bang on his ghouls next to him. He's a clever dingo. No, he's blocked himself. So from two dice, what can I surf them? <laughs> I've only got only got one free guy on it, which is this one. So he'd have to go in, and he can't go in there. It's fucking risky. Blitz. That seems really bad, doesn't it? Easy surf. I don't think so. Or for him, do you mean? Because people just aren't free, are they? And it's not easy to get them free. I don't want an uphill block. I'm pretty sure there's not easy surf there. <laughs> At all.
All right, make a dodge. <laughs> you fucking mad cunt, Jelly. Oh no, Pedro Jack. Dodge? Make a fucking dodge. I said Jelly because I thought Jelly was, you know, that's how he makes a surf. I don't know how you make a surf there. I really don't know how how you how you can make a surf there. Dodging the Guardian would be great. But it's not gonna work. <laughs> I just gotta make a one dash but blitz. There you go. There you go. Simple. You would just fail, you fail the dodge, you know, that's the thing. Oh, wow. Like, I used just to, I assume that I can never make a 3 plus dodge. So I wouldn't want to do that as the first thing, whereas the 2 plus blitz, although it was less likely to be a fucking Kaz, it was also less like, much less likely to fail, wasn't it? 1 in 36 instead of uh, 1 in 9. But I guess there was bigger payoff from moving the guard in. And maybe you could have made a, a surf if you were willing to make dodges and stuff. But um, I wasn't. Forty or fifty lion eye diamonds. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! That's pretty good, BBQ stuff. <laughs> oh wow! You failed the thing. Like now I could surf him, but it would just take so many resources as to be, you know, laughably dumb. Right, so at least it looks like he's not going to turn us over and score now. Um, <laughs> I've got to go for the mighty blow on the girl, haven't I? Blitz the girl, and then... No, I could get an assist there and then blitz him. But then would kind of need a pal. because it was a pal. Can't use can't use the last reroll on the pickup, can I? Hey, good lad. <laughs> Black Lotus means. Phew. Good job there was no rear on the pickup. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, there was no real uh, there was no real reason to run around there, was it? I was just giving him an easier dodge to hit us, I think. Well the, he was better than me there, wasn't he? 
Imperator Augustus was better than me there. <laughs> he was like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, I ain't running out there for no reason. <laughs> I'll just stay here, thanks. This is really bad having black orcs stuck on mummies, isn't it? That's where I should get my fucking loners should be the ones getting banged on by mummies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was that was just much better to stay where he was. That was pretty dumb of me. I just because I wasn't even getting further forward by running around the side there. Three turns though, I've got plenty of time. Like I want to go around that side next turn. Luckily, he stuck the. Uh, he has now got the loader in the correct position. Me at least. Black Hawk. Sorry, this is all looking pretty good actually. Black Hawk two on three is all right, isn't it? Him on there isn't isn't the end of the world. Slightly annoying to get pushes. I want to block with him so I can blitz and then go out in front. One, two, three. Four, five, six, that would be ideal. You can still get to here though. Solid gym powing going on. Oh, I could have put him one further forward, never mind. Well, no, that would have been dangerous in case they doubled down, wouldn't it? You can punch him. Finally. Been waiting the whole match to do that. <laughs> and when he gets his chance. <laughs> And he finally gets it. And now it frees him up, so can 2D down this one. I probably should have even done it. Ah, well, then they could have done for the one dice anyway, so. Wow. Yeah, I did do a good job of freeing people up, didn't I? Yeah, pretty good. At least the journeyman was hit by the uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, big kind. I uh, I traded somebody. I traded I traded a small boy. Uh, it's not it's not crazy, but um, that land the the blue land that gives you a uh, one blue for every artifact. Um, Talarian Academy, that's the one. I got a Talarian Academy and <laughs> I gave him like... I, I can't even remember what I gave him. It was just something awful, some horrible black card. It was like... It was... Um, it was just something stupid. 
um, some horrible black eye. It was, it's not that horrible black. It wasn't that horrible actually. It was, uh, it, but it was you know it was just bad. Some it was the decree. It was the it was the black decree. That wasn't it. Whatever the black decree was, decree of pain, decree of pain for Tularen Academy. That was uh, that was the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yeah and like they're pretty cheap aren't they like it's not a bad card Decree of Pain he wanted it because I had Decree of Pain in my uh, in my multiplayer deck so um, yeah <laughs> yeah at the time it was worth a lot though the academy was worth a lot at the time is it not worth anything fuck I tell you what, my, my my massive fuck up in Magic was, so when when the dual lands were worth like well worth when the dual lands were like getting traded for like about seven quid or five quid or something, some guy had loads of them for tenors each, and uh, like he just had loads. He had like sixty lands or something, and I was like, I offered to buy them, and he was he wanted ten each, and I was like, fuck off. And now, how I wish I hadn't said fuck off to it. Right. How many players stand him up, blitz with him, and then you can get... Or in fact, don't even stand him up, move him in. Blitz with him, and then kind of maybes get in here. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six. Then the cage could be here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, so it's possible. So yeah, okay, this seems... This seems like a good idea. Put him here. Put the ball there. This guy goes to there. This guy goes to there. And this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I actually put him behind here. Should have moved the card guy first, maybe. Definitely should have moved the card guy first. Wow, I've really fucked it up, haven't I? What the fuck am I playing at? One, two, three, four, five. Just fucked it right up. Fucking hell. He wasn't a blitzer. <laughs> I saw the guard and thought he was a blitzer, but that was that was stupid, wasn't it? Gonna make a GFI then. Phew. I just fucking thought he was a blitzer for no no good reason. So he could have gone there and then he could have gone there and I could have made all the same moves, but not making the GFI. Oh, Shit. 
I like, I like the comedy GFI feels that orcs have. Yeah, the uh, Psychotog. Psychotog is my favourite, holy shit. I loved Psychotog. I also had the, uh, I had the, the, the brief, the briefly the most powerful deck um, for a while was, uh, what was it? The uh, Psychotog with uh, that land card. I fucking love that land card, holy shit. Um, what was the what was the land card um, that people had? Um, oh, what's it called? I've got it. I've got it in my uh, in my Child of Alara deck, <laughs> um, so I can just find it. Actually, I can actually just find it. Life from the Loam, that's the one. I had a, I had a Life from the Loam Psychotog deck, and that was, that was pretty good. Just quietly. That was probably my favorite deck to use. For a, a brief amount of time and extended. Right, so just have to get a mighty blow hit on a ghoul, right? Could have maybe made that three dice. Don't even fucking need it. I mean, I like I like normal Psychotog, but uh, Life from the Law made it like way better. Like it was just completely, it was completely broken with Life from the Law. It was already good with upheaval and everything. Um, but yeah, Life from the Law made it next level for a brief, a brief amount of time. I think I'd rather have a Lyman with Garb than a fucking Black Orc now. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I've just, just got to put them back line. I got to put them back line in case, in case that guy who fucking GFI twice to one dice with a ghoul and made a KO. I'm never gonna leave people blitzable again. Fucking hell. Right, save the garbage time cell. Yeah, he. I mean, down down to ten though. But yeah, now he's down to. Uh, he's on. He's on eight or nine, and we're on ten. But we might, you might get more advanced. You don't know what happens. You want to follow along? Oh, it was, it was ridiculous. It was just ridiculously, ridiculously better, because the mana base wasn't even hard. Like you know, obviously blue black was super. Just just blue black was super reliable, 
But the green wasn't even stretching it because you're already running so fetch so many fetch lines anyway. The uh, the splash of green was was just so easy to put in. And then you could also you could uh, then it gave you pernicious steed as well, didn't it? And pernicious steed, like I just fucking love pernicious steed anyway. So. It's just like the life and alone is just like my perfect deck basically. That's the one that I've had the most fun with. I just like green even though it's shit. <laughs> That's why I like Mirari's Wake a lot, just because I just like green. Have I'm too new for you? Yeah, I am alive, yeah. So I don't know what I do anyway. Maybe you can help me, um, barbecue sack. I should actually I should ask I will ask I'll talk it over at table like twenty three as well. And um, who streams. Yeah, I did I did have a, but the but the problem is barbecue sack with the rock is the rock is a bit shit because it doesn't have counter spells, does it? So, you know. <laughs> problem is what why the fuck are you playing magic if you don't have counter spells? Holy shit. I want some shitty dumb aggro deck. Fucking hell. Um yeah, I'd say sure hands backyard dodo, yeah. Yeah, typical typical ball carrier. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm torn. Survived survived the OS blocks, unbelievable. Um I'm actually torn between a child of Alara. Okay, I've got three options. Oh, he stayed out as well. So it's eleven versus eight. That is the dream scenario. Unbelievable, Jeff. He's got to go on the line, hasn't he? If he dies, he dies. He's only got one go. I think I go with this. Try and try and shut him out, eh? How is that overwriting? I've only got one and three saved. And now it says one. It's so fucking dumb this game. Jim versus saved setups five hundred and sixty three. Um Yeah. I don't even know what I don't even know what that is, VIP Super Safe. That's that's probably a bit before my time. So these are my choices. I can sell all of my cards. That's obviously kind of an appealing one. Um, another option is to keep the fun Child of Alara deck for when you want to play one game for, you know, five hours, if that's what people like doing with their uh, Commander. Or keep the uh, Maelstrom Wanderer deck, which lets me win in about three turns, and I could go to, like, Commander Tournaments for that. Maybe one day. Um, and I've also got a legacy deck, so like I could keep my I could keep my legacy deck as well, or I could just or I could keep both of those decks and the legacy deck. I don't know. I'm loath to sell my cards. Like there's no debate, no playing for fun. People hate you when you turn up with. Uh, <laughs> people don't like it when you when I turn people look at itself wow wow that's uh, extreme fash people don't like my Maelstrom Wanderer yeah I just keep holding them all yeah yeah I like collecting things to be fair I do like collecting things the thing that I regret most um that I've done like getting rid of things or whatever is I fucking got rid of my uh, Nintendo, not my Nintendo, yeah my Nintendo 64 
And I fucking wish I'd never got rid of that. Holy shit. Because I just made like all these fucking crazy players. Uh, well, not players. What are they? Wrestlers on uh, 2K. Not 2K. Double, double E. WrestleMania 2000. I made all these crazy wrestlers and then I sold it. I was like, why did I do that? Now they're, they're gone forever. Yeah, I sold them in 64. It was fucking stupid, wasn't it? To be fair, though, um, I never played on it anymore because I had an Xbox. And I'm like, I thought, you know, I'm probably never going to play on it again, but I guess I shouldn't have sold it, though. I want to pressure, but I don't want to go fucking nuts. Double G right here. <laughs> Innistrad. Innistrad was about when I stopped playing. Oh, sliver decks. <laughs> That's pretty good barbecue, sir. Ah, I see, I see, sliver sir. That's kind of what I was thinking, to be honest, barbecue, sir. Because the rest are in, like, you know, a big fucking thing. Yeah, selling would be a pain in the ass, yeah. Yeah. Like, to be honest, I've got so many cards. And I'm like, holy shit, it's good. It's going to be a pain in the ass to even sell a decent chunk of them. Oh, God, I love, I love gold fishing with this, uh this deck. I mean, it's really goal fishing when you're playing a real game anyway. Turn three win. That's not bad, is it? Probably. What? What's? What? What's the? What does? What does fucking the dude do? Maelstrom Wanderer. Has it got like cascade? Is it double cascade or triple cascade? Can't remember. I've got a fucking Japanese or something. Maelstrom Wanderer. Yeah. Uh, what I did was with my cards was I um I gave all my all my commons and stuff to a guy who we liked. <laughs> um He was a bit shit at magic and uh but we all liked him. So I gave him I gave him a lot of my crap cards. And then a lot of my good cards. <laughs> I was such 
I was such an idiot. What I did with a lot of my good cards is... Um, I was just nice to one of my friends and gave him them. Uh, for like, you know, like I traded him for like really, really fucking stupid prices. Just to be fucking nice. Which is like, gotta be one of the most dumb things you can do, isn't it? Be nice to somebody. Holy shit. I regret that because he didn't even appreciate, like, he didn't even appreciate it. He just fucking asked for more stuff and just thought that I was fucking stupid. And thought that I like thought that he was getting a good deal, like you know, thought that he was conning me with the trades, and that really pissed me off. That he, so I, I kind of, I kind of quietly fell out with him after that, which is a bit of a shame. I guess I can go all men's here a bit, can I? Bit of a commitment here, isn't it? Holy shit, maybe I should have killed, held someone back. Probably just gonna one dice and then go for the pass and run away. Might probably work as well. Yeah, I quite, just quietly fell out with him. Yeah, quite, like I never fell out with him. I just, you know, never phoned him and never talked to him ever again. Because I just thought, what a fucking cunt. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, last road, man. It's not, it, yeah, it's, he just, like, you know, he's just like, he just thought he was, he thought he was fucking me. Whereas actually, I, just, I don't know, it just pissed me off. It pissed me off because I, here I was like saying, thinking, you know, like, oh, I'll be a nice guy and give him a really good deal because I'll, because he's my friend. Whereas he was thinking, oh, this is great, I'm fucking him. Which is not good, is it? Yeah, that, that was the thing with me as well, Backyard Dodo. That's why I stopped playing standard. Because it's just a joke, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I've left a quite a gaping hole here, haven't I? Oh, shit. Now I can get two dice on that guy with a blitz. Oh, shit. Reroll's gone, though, at least. Kind of committed with that. that. That basing the guy, I shouldn't have based him, double based him, maybe. Oh, he hasn't gone for the breakaway anyway. Good. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was thinking of getting a modern deck because I've like I've got most of it. I just have to get the lands. Basically, I didn't have those. I didn't have the lands for. I don't have the lands for a modern deck. I think that is disappointing, isn't it? Because I've got the wrong fetch lands. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, and uh, something got banned. Yeah, you run they can get banned, can't it? My legacy deck got banned. Oh, you can, you can reach there for a fucking... You can reach for a fucking full cage. He's got to make this last dodge, though, hasn't he? Wow, lucky bastard. All right, but now his mummy's stranded and everyone's going to get in here. Thank God no AV break so he can stand next to the mummy. <laughs> I might be Herb Dirt basing the ball here, just quietly. Two, three. Let's see. All right. A 
beat it, a bit of cheeky herp dirt basing the ball. Glorious. And get him back. It's good being three men up though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Been pretty lucky this game, to be fair. <laughs> yeah do you know what like that's the thing isn't it that's the thing Fashbinder there are like X does beat X does beat Y does beat Z 78% of the time that's true and that's why I think it's crazy that um, one of my friends um, plays L5R and L5R is just best of one and the best players, like, you know, continuously win. Despite it being best of one. And that makes me think, that's interesting, isn't it? So I thought maybe it's a better game than, than Magic. Seeing as, you know, Magic, you can have, you have best of five and stuff. And the matchups are crazy. It's 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 a lot of rock, paper, scissors in Magic, isn't it? I don't know. I might just give up on it. Played, yeah, like I've seen that. Yeah, that was the good thing when uh, when I when I uh, when I played it. There was like a somewhat of a legacy scene, if you like. So I no, I did carry on playing. But then my deck wasn't miracles. My my deck was a uh, fucking that stupid thing for one on one white. But just um, what's it called? What is it? One on one white. And it's just ridiculously broken. Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> My whole deck got banned. And I was like, shit. Right, there's gotta be. There's gotta be some kind of chain. Chain to get extra hits here, isn't there? It's just gotta be. I guess putting him in there and then blitzing we'll push him into there and then he could block him into another one and he could block him into another one into another one so Should have done that first, eh? And this one actually first. Guard there, so. That's another 2D. Got him. <laughs> Three, four, so we can get two assists over there. Seed. Fair enough. Thanks, small fell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pedro, yeah. That, that did not wasn't ideal, was it? But there you go. It worked out in the end. Uh, two concedes for the Orcs. That's pretty. That's pretty good, isn't it? 
Oh, could go to 12 players. I guess might as well go to 12 players, especially when he's got 5, eh? And got 230k, so yeah, why not? Um, six AV. I mean, that's unbelievable. Only taking three armor breaks against thirty-eight blocks. So as bad as the Norse were with everyone getting their armor broken. Well, it it wasn't even. It was it was it was actually good armor breaks against the Norse. It's just that they were Kaz. This they nearly never broke armor. Ten percent. So there you go. You can't argue with that, can you? Didn't break his much either. But no, that's that's both. All right. Broke his probably about the right amount, especially with having Mighty Blow. Um, but yeah, he was really, he was pretty unlucky, wasn't he? Because he had, he had Mighty Blow on, on a few of those, you would think. Rolled a ton of powers, pretty lucky. Could... Uh, could upgrade the stadium, eh? 180 k is a lot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Two wins. Two concession wins. Loads of money. Loads of team value, though. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.